Hey Ross here with True Cut CNC. In this video we're going to talk about uh, vectorizing uh, bitmap images. So uh, it's very easy to do in this program so let's get started. I've already created a file here, uh, a, uh, a project. So we're going to start by clicking the import vectors button which is this one right here. Okay, and then we're going to go to our collection of stuff that we've downloaded. And, uh, well, let's talk about that first. If you want to download something uh, to look at, um, uh, let's open our browser. The, the best way to find anything uh, is to type in what you're looking at. Let's say, dear... silhouette and what you want to do is just whatever you're looking for follow it by silhouette and you'll get uh, a whole bunch of images here and uh, we can click on those and download them so just kind of go through them and if you find one you like just kind of click on it and then you're going to right click on the photo, save image as, and uh, we'll save it. It's a JPEG, so we'll save it. And there we have it. So now we're going to go and convert that to a vector, uh, to a vector file so we can cut it. So let's close our browser. And okay, we're back to cut 2D. We're going to click on the import bitmap uh, for tracing button. And we go to our pictures. And in here somewhere should be that deer that we just downloaded. So we'll scroll down and see if we can find them. Well, must have missed him. Where is the deer? I may not have saved him in my pictures folder. Oh, there he is, right at the top. All right, so we're going to click him, double click, and there he is. Okay, so we have him imported now. So we're not going to resize him. He's pretty small, but that's okay. Uh, what we're going to do is now click on this button right here, Trace Bitmap. And uh, it, it dims him so we can see our, our preview better. Uh, and you can control that fading right here. Uh, it doesn't affect the uh, trace any at all. Uh, so noise filtering, I usually run that all the way up to 10 because we don't want any small details, less than 10 pixels, certainly. And we're a black and white photo, so that's good. So now your uh, threshold is going to allow you to eliminate uh, certain things that you don't want. Like if there was a watermark here, by increasing the threshold, a lot of times we can get rid of the watermark. So most of the time, somewhere right about 50% is works just fine. We hit preview, and there's our trace, and that looks pretty good. So we're going to hit apply and close. Okay, now we can click on the bitmap and get rid of that by hitting the delete key. Okay, and we can get rid of the text. Okay, now we can resize him. Like that. And we're going to click on the select uh, object size right there. Let's say we want him 12 inches wide or let's say 12 inches high. We're going to select our lower left as our anchor point. Okay, now he's 12 inches high. Okay, and we can either save him as a DXF file, or we could go over in toolpaths over here and uh, put a toolpath on him and cut him. Uh, we'll do. We'll cover toolpaths in a later in a later video. For now, we're going to save him as a DXF. So what we're going to do is just come up here to File, Export. DXF, 
and we'll save him and uh, we're actually going to put him in our samples file so everybody can have a shot at him so to speak samples and we'll call him Dear Let's call him Deer in Grass too. There we go. And that is converting a bitmap to a vector. Very easy to do.